for primary prevention, your LDL is high. You haven't had an event. The mean increase in lifespan for being on a statin is four days. And the risk for diabetes is 20% increase. For secondary prevention, that's where statins shine. And if you have familial hypercholesterolemia, which is one in 500, but not for primary prevention, but that's what every doctor is doing. Oh, your LDL, it's over 80. You need a statin. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely a joke. My colleague, Asim Malhotra, participated in an analysis where they took the entire UK population, looking at people 65 to 90. And it turned out the higher the LDL, the longer they lived. LDL is not really the problem. And the reason is because there are two LDLs. There's one called large buoyant and there's one called small dense. Dietary fat raises your large buoyant. Your large buoyant is irrelevant. It is cardiovascularly neutral, but that's the one that statins affects. The small dense, that's the atherogenic particle. When your small dense LDL is high, that means you are not clearing triglyceride peripherally. Can I take a guess that the best way to reduce small dense is to reduce insulin? Yes, by reducing sugar, because that triglyceride is your liver output of carbohydrate. So triglyceride triglyceride turns out to be much more important as a cardiovascular risk factor than LDL ever was. 